What's up? My name is Confusion, representing Furious Styles crew. Popper, uh, B Boy, Open Styles, All Styles, Lock In, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much everything. When did you get your start, man? When did uh, uh, everything start happening for you? Let's see, well, let's see, it's 2012 now, um, 28 years old. I actually started dancing when I was about 16. And um, I was like, a, I think I was a sophomore in high school. I was in 99. I believe it was 99 going into 2000, something like that. And, uh, yeah, believe it or not, this man is the reason why I started dancing. It's real business. I saw him, uh, saw him on the on mine. This is back before YouTube. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is when you had to download videos from the websites. So see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go through like your. You had to go. If you didn't have Windows Media Player, you couldn't watch videos. This is back in the day. And I remember I saw a video watching him. And I remember. Uh, and maybe about a year later, I peeped at him. Usher video. My way, he's in the Usher My Way video. Bitch, y'all don't know that. He was in the battle scene against there was another crew with Tyrese's on that. I was like, oh, that's Mr. Wiggles. And um, then a little shortly after, saw Pete the Limp Biscuit video. He was in Limp Biscuit. Uh, rolling. So if you look up that video, these are old videos, and this is when I started really going on, and it just took off. What, uh, so uh, you said Mr. Wiggles was a lot of your inspiration. Where did you practice at? Are you from here in Phoenix? Or I'm actually originally from Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Uh, born and raised. I uh, moved out to Arizona back in 2006 for Aki or for employment reasons. But honestly, man, like, I'm glad now um, there is a scene that allows for, for young people to come and learn you know, original hip hop, you know, original dance style whatever, choreography, you know, different types of style of dance, whatever you like, I think that's really important because where I'm from, there's no such thing. There is now, but back when I was 15, 16 years old, you wanted to learn, you would have to go to a party, you know what I mean, and watch somebody, oh, I'm watching. And say, but you bite, you know what I mean, because that's all you knew. You're like, okay, I'm gonna, I, I like that, I'm going to go home and practice it. And you'd be in your basement, whatever, wherever I can dance. Man, I used to session in the kitchen. My, my mother's kitchen, right by the stove and the refrigerator, because that was an open space and it was hard floor, the tile floor. Just practice in the kitchen, in the basement, outside, in the street, anywhere I could dance. I used to practice in a place like this. You kicked out in front of stores because you'd be having your door open with the music blasting, and practicing just because you want, you know, you wanted to dance and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, how where I used how I used to practice. What about um, Furious Styles? How'd you get into Furious Styles? Um, you know, I've been down with, well, I mean, I should say this. I've been really good friends with Furious Styles crew, a lot of members of Furious Styles crew, for probably since about 05. I'm at House, and a former member, uh, this guy, Sweet Feet, he's actually a Soul Bodice crew. Shout out to him. Um, but he was, a, he's a popper, and obviously house is, so, so, met them at, uh, City vs. City 3, or no, City vs. City 5, I'm sorry. New Mexico? No, Chicago. Oh, this Chicago. Is before okay. Check It, this is before Check It was married, mm -hmm. he used to live in Chicago, was, and he, him, and, uh, this is Coney Rock, he used to, to, uh, do the, um, promotions and all that good stuff, but pretty much, I met him in City vs. City, met House, met Sweet Feet, got down on the side from with him, and... I didn't even know this is before I even knew I was gonna move to Arizona. Mm -hmm. So you know, once I found out I was moving to Arizona, I knew that I knew them, but I didn't know how to contact them. This is before MySpace, before mm, Facebook. Facebook. So you know, you, I didn't really know how to contact them. So when I moved here, um, I did whatever I had to do to seek out the scene. No matter where I go, just to let you know, no matter where I go, if I go to a city. And if it's longer than a few weeks, if I'm visiting or I'm working, whatever, I would immediately seek out the scene. Because we all know the scene is underground. You know, it's not on television that much. It's not on the radio. You know, it's not really out. It's underground. You know what I mean? So you really got to find out. Once you meet one person and knows everybody, it's game plan and game time. You're good to go. So pretty much that's what I did when I came down here. I just asked around. I'm going to go out to clubs. Didn't know nobody by myself. Yo, man, you know where any dancers get down? And... No, no, no. 
So um, I don't know how, but somehow I, I went to a, I think it was like a, man, I want to say it was like a, a pita jungle, and there was a flyer for battle, and it's actually closed down now, but it was at the Phoenix Dance Academy downtown. I still battles down there all the time. And went down there, and bam, and everybody, everybody was there. It was pretty much all good. But it started getting cool with a lot of Fierce Styles members. Over the, the years, because I, I, I haven't been in a crew before yeah. Fierce Styles for a while, uh -huh. ever since I left Detroit, left my crew behind, so I kind of just opt out. But just, they're like family, you know? It's really not really, oh, I want to be in a crew. Is they were like family. Like, literally, like, I don't really have any family living in Arizona. I have, like, a lot of friends, you know what I mean? Um, and I would always hang out with them, you know, I would always barbecues, pool parties, fight parties, whatever. It was just, that's how it was. So, technically, I have been down for about a year. I got down last year, but I've, I've always felt like I've always kind of been a member of some type of way. Because I just was always good friends with them. And it was more so like, okay, let's just make it official. Yeah. You know, I got down for your style screw and, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Be the last screw to be in, too, so...